Meantime, a Florida high school is still in shock tonight after losing one of its own yesterday. 15-year-old Gabe Carter of Tate High School collapsed in class and died at a nearby hospital yesterday afternoon. Fox 10 News reporter Russell Colbert went to Tate where he found a classmate of Carter's who witnessed it all. Kristen Caperton is a freshman at Tate High School. She saw Gabe Carter every day in class. They were good friends and group mates. He's really sweet like a big teddy bear. But Thursday, March 17th, Carter acted differently. He's usually on task. He's a pretty smart guy. And we're reading out of this play and we a uh, holder he was in our group too and he kept having to ask him like telling him gabe it's your turn it's your turn to read and he was just like oh yeah and started reading what happened next stunned everyone around we were on the computers and then his head fell forward and um and then like we all turned toward him and you could see like his eyes rolled to the back of his head and like his mouth was open and he started grunting and then he kicked back and he fell on the floor. And me and Kim screamed. She was in under two. And we ran for help. When she got back, Carter wasn't breathing. He was rushed to West Florida Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Caperton and her peers got the word that afternoon. It was hard. Like, it, I'm so sad. I just started crying. Caperton and other students have been meeting with grief counselors on campus to try to cope with the incident. They've been here since yesterday afternoon and they have one goal in mind helping students in a trying time. I think it's helped me because, so we're not trying to like run away from the fact that it happened, to cope with it and just help get through it because if you deny it, then you're never going to get through it. But Carter's memory will never be forgotten. This morning before the first bell, we were all around the flagpole, if you see the pole over there. We are all around there, everyone's standing around, we are just standing there praying for him. A cause of death has not yet been released. Reporting from Tate High School, Russell Colburn, Fox 10 News. Grief counselors will be available to help those at Tate High School cope with the tragedy. They'll stay as long as they're needed.